uh, it's very hard for me to actually assess how loud those things are. And we are off. I have no idea what these players are playing at this time, but I know that Lars usually brings some interesting stuff to the table. And Ruben has become quite a mainstay in our uh, tournament here. There we go. One screen is just not enough anymore. Once you get used to two screens to work with, one screen is just Puvrelo style. There we go. Optimizing the real estate. Let's do this, boys and girls, hopefully. Also, if you are uh, watching and if you are part of a different community, feel free to dump in the chat what you think the best deck is. That is the question of today because the Gentry Open is closing in and it's time for the serious people to start preparing. Ruben down uh, Mulligan Lane in the meantime. Uh, six cards. And we have repositioned. So we. Uh, St. Niklaus gonna run away with that trophy for a third time. I, I guess you're being generous and counting uh, Aaron Fontaine as uh, St. Niklaus then. Or uh, Alan. I think the only true. St. Niklausian uh, was Michiel, so come get it for a second time, but be hard pressed to uh, defend it being the third time already. But, but it's, it's, you know, they made a song about this. Uh, where is my song? Oh, and we have a mulligan down to five already. Uh, tuck, tuck, tuck. And we are on our way with a oh, uh, rares on the table straight away. Looks like a Lars might be playing a mono red. It's also a contender in Gentry. Okay, Bumat career hitting for a second time, uh, getting that Erzat's hand there. I think that's uh, another rare. Kari Zef. Yeah, looks like a Kari. Cute little girl. Uh, does beat hard with her monkey. Beat beating the monkey. I just said she beats hard with her monkey. That's. In the meantime, Ruben stuck on one single land. Firebrand Fnatic coming out for Lars, really putting on the pressure and uh, showing that he is uh, quite likely mono red here. That Bomat Courier is going to collect his third card. I think they're looking for a token to make the attack actually properly legal. There we go, Monkey comes for the beats. Well, we have a shock to stem some of the bleeding. I hate looking for shock. God, there's too many cards that are shocking or shocked or whatever. Okay, takes out the Bomat Courier, does not get sacrificed. So we have two cards lost for Lars. And uh, we have another uh, f f Pirate of the Firebrand variety. Phantom Fleet Firebrand. There we go. Sucky Fire Breather, but it's a two for two. And in Mono Red, that gets the job done for time to time. Yeah, welcome, Summer. <laughs> uh, there's always a stream at the leaderboard events if I am around in Belgium, of course. Uh, and there's, I hope there's going to be more in the future as well. Lars playing mono red indeed. Showcasing the power of the deck here. Firebrand takes out the Eater Chaser. Yeah, well, you need the fun police to define what the fun is, you know? Mono red, 
called the fun police because it's so punishing for uh, slow decks or clunky starts from good decks even and Lars keeps the pressure on with not sure what that is for one mana for one mana yeah I have no idea what that is I assume it's a 1-1 one, one rate rigging runner thank you uh, it's so good to have a uh, card identifier in the chat thanks Grar. Grar. okay and on the other side we have uh, uh, it's not the motorist it's the is it the mechanic I forgot what its name was no uh, engineer it's the the one that gives artifact creatures plus two plus zero weld fast engineer there we go ah <laughs> okay summer I'll let them know I assume you are our female coding friend that can't make it because she has exams Okay, Lars keeps bringing the hurt. A 3-3 three, three for 3 on the other side it does stem the bleeding somewhat. But at this point, all the mono red deck wants to do is... <laughs> okay, welcome, Summer. Uh, all the mono red deck wants to do at this point is just punch through as much damage as possible in the hopes of finishing their opponent off with some burn spells directly to the face. So it could very well just be over here. If uh, Ruben decides to take five either he goes to four or three and both those life totals are very much in range of lethal burning to the face and getting a crispy forehead not the way you want to go out and there we go yep boom goes the dynamite uh, turnout looks pretty good i think we have 25 players today um not crazy amounts uh, for a gentry event but nothing to complain about either and me personally i'm very good thank you very much the dude 13. boom goes the dynamite okay so we are sideways can't talk anymore we are sideboarding for game two um S ruben is playing uh, black red vehicles it seems uh, looking from the world fast engineer that we still have on screen while lars is on the equally aggressive mono red deck that aims to just scorch off your face as fast as possible and make sure you don't get to put your plan online and we have a new follower welcome to dude 13 Ah, it's new, the notification thingy. It's, uh, I like it very much. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> back to the match. Uh, Ruben um, probably will be boarding into uh, being a bit more of a control deck. I have to talk a little bit more silently uh, right now because the players are within hearing distance. So we're might be expecting Ruben to yeah magma sprays to become a bit more controly to to stop this initial burn uh, uh, the initial assault from Lars um, where <laughs> Lars has a few different options of his own um, he can go even more aggressive or more burn oriented you don't really have that much Any ch wait, any chance the stream could be uploaded with more quality options other than source to help us Southern Hemisphere viewers who are also updating other things? I will look into that. Uh, I think I have to be partner before I can change quality settings. So uh, looks like that's something we might get in the future. Uh, but right now we're just lacking the days. I will look into that, uh, Shadow. So. But right now, I can't help you, unfortunately. It is our South African friend, indeed. Also, for the 
sake of some people preferring to be uh, anonymous, let's uh, make sure that uh, we don't actually use names. It's just common, common courtesy, okay? It's also interesting to see that uh, apparently Shadow has a Twitch Prime. If only I already had the... Uh, yeah, you can you, <laughs> you can <laughs> call my name already. That's not a problem. I am Mills, that happy Viking, and I'm here to service and entertain. I don't mind being completely known. It's uh, good that we have a little chatter because it's so boring to be watching people sideboard. Yes, one eternity later, people are presenting and let's hope we have a more balanced game here, a bit less uh, mulliganing even. Are you not entertained? I have no idea what's in M25, probably mono blue and rip two jaces or something. <laughs> Guess there's consensus in that. All right, we're underway. Cinder Barons for a ribbon, and Lars gets the opener of uh, what's what's that's the tutu. Um, uh, la, 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 la. What's the name of the the tutu pirate? Costs two more if you can't reveal a pirate as you play it, and he revealed the the rigging runner. Chat, help me out. I am a poor victim of my own lack of knowledge. Yeah, reveal pirate. That, I, I, that's what I said. Okay, does doesn't matter. The shock takes care of it. That, we only shock. It's the only thing that is relevant. Shock. Blue green, and uh, black seems strong. Uh, that is correct. Uh, black in particular is really strong right now, with blue being the best support color and green being capable of the widest uh, swath of. Um, abilities uh, but it looks like green might be getting crazy good uh, with Dominaria since they are getting Lenoir Elves yeah Lenoir Elves is going to shake up Gentry like crazy I honestly I hope it's an uncommon because <laughs> it uh, that would actually help quite a lot and we have a renegade uh, freighter on the other side here, of course, that doesn't do too much when <laughs> there's no creature to crew it. Yeah, making green great again, exactly. Uh, actually, the, the promo looks like it has an uh, uncommon rarity, but so does opt, so that doesn't really help us. In the meantime, Ruben pumping that renegades giving it plus two plus zero giving it a bunch of extra power and we have the shock to take it out so that uh, does the rigging runner have first strike yes it does have first strike ah white ones are common ah, okay yeah, the uncommon removal spell seems pretty good uh, outside of Dominaria. Um, <laughs> in limited, that will be balanced, but I don't think that um, <laughs> I don't think that uh, in Gentry it will feel that balanced. It's going to be a really good uh, removal spell. Um, what is it called? Lightning Crew or Lightning Riggers? Lightning, lightning. Ah, why are there so many lightning cards? Magic. Pl ah, lightning rig crew. Yeah. I knew it was a lightning crew. Um. Uh, we have Speedway Fanatic for Ribbon and a Renegade map. So Ruben uh, staying more in the game this time. Uh, again, that 3-3 three, three against uh, Mono Red is uh, being quite a problem. And there we have the 2-2 two, two reveal, uh, two, two reveal for Pirate. See you around. Thank you very much for helping out with uh, <laughs> calling out the, the names of the cards, Grar. 
and uh, good luck with your M25 draft. Okay, <laughs> Renegade Maps. Renegade Map finds a swamp for Ruben. As he is filling the board with creatures that are capable of uh, stopping the onslaught. We see some unlicensed disintegration uh, in Ruben's hand. Uh, that w not s could take care of the the crew, so there's not too much pinging anymore, because Ruben should be capable of managing a bunch of tutus with this deck. Just yeah, gumming up the board with three threes is a rather solid plan at this point. That pinger will have to leave the table sooner rather than later. And I think we have uh, some stamina in Ruben's hand to stop some of the removal that might be coming out in the near future. Also keep in mind that with the Weltfast engineers, uh, if those stay on the board, <laughs> that first... Uh, artifact creature that he's gonna play is going to be attacking for quite a lot. And we have me not being able to type for the next creature. Some sort of tracker. No, it's the 2 1 menace. Always forget that name. Anyone common black removal with tokens seems good. Could also be a good card to pair up with Bobs in Modern since this member doesn't play as well with them. Mm, I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> Which member? Oh, this member. Oh, <laughs> lol. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> back to the game. We've uh, had a bit of interaction in combat there uh, that I completely missed. Okay. Uh, we have another uh, world fast engineer. Oh, uh, typed in the wrong window. World fast. <laughs> it's kind of funny how good a 3 3 for 3 is. Uh, against mono red uh, somebody wants to know uh, how I decide feature matches um, honestly it's based on what I've seen the players are playing that was not the case here uh, interesting matchups when there's good players playing against each other and of course uh, always looking at the undefeated players players who are doing well to highlight what's actually good in the format Another 2-2 two -two for Lars. Looks like he's aiming to swarm around at this point. But uh, yeah. Lars keeps pinging with that uh, lightning ray crew. So it's going to start to get time for Ruben to get rid of that. If he doesn't want to suddenly die to an alpha strike ping burn to the face uh, routine. And that's ex... Oh. So unlicensed disintegration takes care of a firebrand. It, it, it is strong enough to punch through the world fast engineers, but at this point it's the crew that's actually doing the damage. So I would have saved my removal spell for that one. Uh, another two-one menace for Lars. So Lars is getting to a point where uh, his alpha strike can uh, deal 4 damage. That means that Ruben's life... Oh, we had a second unlicensed disintegration uh, for Ruben. Yeah, so 8 life. That's with the menacers. It's kind of... <coughs> Yeah, with the menacers, that's uh, kind of putting him at 
uh, a relative for life so two burn spells from Lars could end this game that's I think that's a bombard that's not a bombard it's tampering Creatures without flying can't. Yeah, I think that was destructive tampering. Um, probably the sideboard card for Lars. And now looking in very strong position to take this game 2 to 0 with what he has. I think there's a second disruptive tampering hiding out in Lars's hand. So that would spell certain doom for Ruben. Unless Ruben has some actual control tools here and can wipe the board with a uh, golden demise but i don't think that's in the cards for a ruben at this point one mana apprentice yeah that's uh, and another speedway fanatic not going to uh, help that much uh, yeah these destructive destructive tamperings are a perfect sideboard card uh, against these other aggressive decks we've been now looking for a possibility for an attack back could have been really explosive here if he had like a renegade freighter play it uh, speedway fanatic pump it with uh, uh, weld fast engineers attack for five nine nine trample power and two three threes and then he had another <laughs> two two so that could have like renegade freighter could have been lethal on that board uh, with an alpha strike back unfortunately that's not what Ruben had here comes the second destructive tampering and that spells the end of the match here for Ruben Lars takes the first round two to zero in a very swift fashion so I'm afraid I'm going to have to uh, leave you guys again we'll be back in I guess half an hour for round two thank you very much for uh, being here